This next exercise is to determine what size circuit breaker we will install. Once again, we'll have a look at the pertinent information and highlight what's appropriate. We're looking at two single core cables, 16 millimeter square with V75 insulation. They're copper and they're installed in an underground enclosure. Closure is buried at a depth of 0.5 a metre and touches two other circuits. All of these circuits are in separate enclosures and our cable is protected by a circuit breaker. Firstly, we want to identify if there's any derating. And here it says that it touches two other circuits. So yes, there will be derating. Firstly, we're going to determine our type of installation. We'll look at our appropriate table three. And in this case, because it's an underground wiring enclosure, we're going to look at table three, four. So I'll have a look at what type of cable they are. And we've previously said that's two single cores. Out of all of those options, it look like item number one will be the most appropriate. Two single core cables, the reference drawing indicates that they are both installed in the same conduit. Accordingly, we'll look at table four and five, columns 24 to 26. Now we've said earlier that generally the first table, in this case four, would be for 75 degree rated insulation. And the second one, in this case five, would be for 90 degree insulation. And out of the three columns listed, the first two, 24 and 25, will be for copper cable, and 26 will be for aluminium. Our problem revolves around copper cables, and because it doesn't list specifically that it's a flexible cable, we're going to assume that it's a stranded cable. So therefore, we're going to look at column 24. Firstly, when I inspect table four, I double check that it's what I'm interested in. Two single cores with 75 degree insulation. Once I'm convinced that I'm definitely on the right table, I'll go to the columns. And we said earlier that it'd be column number 24. Now confirm that I'm on the right table and I'm on the right column. Underground wiring enclosure, column 24. And I'll make my way down until I find 16 millimeter square conductor. And the 16 millimeter square conductor over here has got a current carrying capacity of 89 amps. It's important to remember at this time that 89 amps is the standard current carrying capacity. And we'll recall earlier that we've got derating with this one. So we'll now need to take that into consideration. Now we'll move on with determining the derating factor. We know from previous exercises, the derating tables for AS3008 are between table 22 and table 29. We'll now make our way through the derating tables to find the one that most appropriately suits our circumstance. 26.1 and 26.2 are all about derating factors for groups of circuits in underground wiring enclosures. 26.2 relates to single core or multi-core in underground wiring enclosure or more than one single core cable per wiring enclosure. Further information will be available when we have a look at the description for 26.1 and 26.2. But at this stage, it gives us somewhere to start. 26.1 core underground wire enclosure enclosed separately. The illustration here shows that each of the conductors are in separate enclosures. That's not the description of the job. So we'll move on to 26.2 to see if it's more accurate. 26.2 derating factors for groups of circuits. Single core or multi core. A great description of what we can expect here. But more importantly, the illustration shows the sort of installation that we're concerned with. 
In our problem, our cable is touching two other circuits. That brings a total of three circuits touching. And if they're touching, the derating factor will be 0 0.83. Now we determine that the total current carrying capacity originally at 89 amps, and now once we derate it to the tune of 0.83, gives us a total of 73.87 amps. We'll just enter that as 73 amps. The maximum size circuit breaker for a cable whose current carrying capacity is 73 amps will be the size lower. In this case, 63 amps. Now we'll just do the confirmation of the coordination between the conductors and the protective devices, where IB is less than or equal to IN, which is less than or equal to IZ. In this case, we worked out what IZ would be. So this one needs to be worked backwards to a degree. In this case, the current carrying capacity was 73. The circuit breaker will be 63 amps. And the maximum demand will be 63 amps. This is an example of maximum demand by limitation.